Be on the lookout for an armed man who is posing as a police officer and pulling people over. WLKY's Morgan Lintis is live in the Clarksville Police Department with more on what you need to know to keep yourself safe. Morgan? Rick, investigators are looking for a white man in his mid 20s standing about five foot seven with brown hair. They say he was seen driving an older model white Crown Victoria with flashing lights that looks an awful lot like a police cruiser. If you can't tell the bad guys from the good guys, that would be bad. For one Clarksville, Indiana driver, that's the scary situation she found herself in just before 7 a.m. on Tuesday. Detective Scott Merchant with the Clarksville Police Department says they got a call that a woman had been pulled over on Missouri Avenue by someone claiming to be an officer. When he got up to the car, he asked her for her driver's license and registration. She asked the man what department he was with, but he refused to answer. After demanding her identification again, police say she gave it to him. He then went back to his phony patrol car and snapped pictures of her license. She said the whole time that he talked to her, he kept his hand on his gun, tapping his gun, and it sort of scared her, and she was afraid for herself. Luckily, the man didn't hurt her and let her go with the warning. But the incident is still sending shockwaves through the community as many hear what happened. Don't trust anybody ever in your car, out of your car, nowhere. Don't trust them. Investigators consider the suspect dangerous and urge anyone in a similar situation to just keep driving. Don't pull over for somebody like that that you don't recognize. Eventually, they'll either have a marked car there or you can call 911. It's an unsettling situation that has many on edge. Well, you're never going to know if it's legit until you, you know, stop and say what's going on. Then you'll know, but by then it's too late. Police tell me they don't have any viable leads at this point, but they believe this crime could be connected to a similar incident that just happened recently in New Albany. Reporting live in Clarksville, I'm Morgan Lentis, WLKY News. Thank you, Morgan. Also, 